Uh, so the SUI Awards, the SUI Awards are our annual award show, and we begin, we come out of the gate, we're doing it all week. This is the biggest mistake. You're going to have a chance to vote at Lebetard Show on Twitter. What was the biggest mistake made over the last year by anyone around our show? Let me introduce our host, Greg Cody. And now the SUI nominees for Worst Mistake. Dan calls Kenyon Drake, Kendrick Drake. Kendrick Drake is going to join us here. Ah, Kenyon Drake. Oh That's a fun. God. Yeah. My God. You just yeah. made him two rappers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kendrick Drake. You know what? I'm going to go out for two minutes. Let's start the weekend observation. <laughs> Kenyon Drake. I, Honest to God, I'm worried. I am. I am. Ken uh, we are yeah, too. Sugat screws up the name Bob Bugner. Within 24 hours of firing previous coach Bob Boner. Dan awkwardly wishes J-Lo a happy birthday. All of you are having the same reaction. 50 for J-Lo. How? And congratulations, J-Girl, because you're a fly girl. You're still a fly girl. Chris Cody can't read. Number nine. Many MLB players won't let anyone touch their glove, so not to mess with its shape. Touch mine, Phillips said, and we will fight. I once foolishly asked Mark Bellinger if I could try on his glove. I would kill you before I would let you touch that, he said. How do we feel about the reading Chris is doing so far? Because there are eight more of these to go, and I don't trust it. I've lost faith in him. You're doing all right, Chris. Let's push through. Let me give me one more. Push through. I can't do eight more of these. This is how it's going to be read. I can only tolerate one consistently bad reader around here. Chris squinted his eyes on number 10, so I'm thinking we might get a brow wipe here on number nine. Are you losing good. eyesight? No, uh, no, no. Number eight, Chris Cody. Biggest glove I've ever... Uh oh. All right, get out of here. Go, to, go walk to the ocean. Get out. You had wow. another chance and you blew it. Get out of here. Stugatz can't talk. More terrifying fighting or doing stand up comedian? Chris Cody screws up karaoke joke. Don't drag me into this. This is a, a, a beef between two guys. Leave it to the amateurs to Whoa. battle this one out. Sir, are you in a karaoke league? I mean, they used to call me Chris Karaoke. Karaoke. <laughs> That back row is bringing it today. <laughs> Greg Cody thinks Rocky Balboa's wife's name was Gloria. Who else did you want to stay together after the movie? Rocky and his wife, you wanted them to stay together forever, right? Yeah. What was her name in the movie? Gloria? What was it? Adrian. 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 Wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> Yo, Adrian. You Why'd you just Rocky have her? Screaming. Gloria. I don't Yo, Gloria. <laughs> hey, Gloria! <laughs> we did it! Dan screws up Lou Williams and Montrez Harrell's names. Oh, what you're doing that's not fair is you keep mentioning Lou Harris and <laughs> Lou, Lou, Williams. Lou Williams and Montrell Harris. You keep mentioning Harrell. Harrell, excuse me. <laughs> I, that's two fines, fines two terrible fines. fines. Dan screws up the name San Francisco Giants. Oh, did you know that John Cruck was in the fan? What? What? Crucky. Well, this is why I'm surprised that Billy and Chris don't know anything about this movie. If I tell you a movie about the San Francisco 40 Giants, Benicio Del Toro, West the who? San Francisco 40 Giants? The, the San Francisco Giants. <laughs> you just merged sports, Wait, I wait, think. wait yeah, was this the San Francisco <laughs> Giants of 1940 because they were in New York? Fan. I was very excited to talk so, about the fan. Chris Cody's terrible contribution during the Brad Stevens interview. So my favorite fries are Chick-fil-A waffle fries. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. 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 Chick-fil-A is going to be mad. Chick-fil-A is in trouble. You what? dip them in the sauce, right, Brad? You have to. Chick-fil-A sauce. <laughs> yeah. Chris, <laughs> therapy couch. Get out of here, Chris. Dan's odd Gerald McCoy request. Do me a favor, Chris. Look up Gerald M McCoy's IMDb and let's see how many stats Stugatz gets right about what Gerald McCoy is. IMDb. Uh, look, he was look, in movies? Look, right, I'm going to check it out. Check out Gerald McCoy's IMDb. His pro football focus uh, grade. Greg Cody says Zion Williamson will get $1.2 billion from Nike and was right. I can't imagine how much they just paid this dude. Uh, what do you think? Over or under $80 million? I would say over $80 million. Over. What's the existing record? And then double it. <laughs> well, I mean, wow. the existing record is what LeBron did, and everyone sort of just sort of assumes that that's like a billion-dollar deal for LeBron James. Wow. I would I would add 20% to whatever the existing record is. Did Mike just say a billion dollars? You what? think you think that they're going to give Zion Williamson a billion dollars? Yeah. Twenty And 20%? Yeah, right. What's the matter with you? 
I honestly, I know my shoes. On, honestly, are you a really dumb person? No, I know like, my shoes. On, are you kidding me? A billion dollars? A billion dollars? dollars? Right. What's the record? I'm trying to to ask. He, I the, just you, told you a billion. A okay, billion then, then they'll give him twenty percent. They'll give him one point two billion. Off the top of his head, Tim Kirchin can only name four of the six unassisted triple plays in baseball history. Tim, what is the rarest play in baseball? Is it an unassisted triple play? And how many have there been? I'm not sure how many there have been. It's I think it's six or seven. Mickey Morandini, Ron Hansen, uh, Randy Velarde, wow. uh, Billy Wamsgas. Wow. But that was uh, – that's – we're off the top of my head. Where are the other two, Kirkshin? You're no expert. Yeah, somewhere where, there. where are the other two, yeah. Kirkshin? You fraud. You, fraud. you fraud. You fraud. We have you on as an expert every damn week, and you can only come up with four of the names for the unassisted triple play. Right, Buster would know. You, you, Buster would know. All right. Uh, all right. I'm, I'm not sure of the other ones. Sorry. <laughs> Stugatz can't say the name of a Michael Jackson song. Oh, no. Should Michael Jackson's song be called... Mama say, mama say, mama kusa. <laughs> mama say, mama sa, mama kusa. Uh, that's the way it's written here. It's actually written the way that it shows up in the song. Mama wait, say, wait, wait, mama wait, sa, wait, wait. mama kusa. Try one more time. Mama say, mama sa, mama, mama say, mama sa, mama say, mama sa, mama ma kusa. <laughs> That was an extra it's name. Close, mama right. say, mama say, mama makuka. <laughs> no, be careful now. Mama say, mama sa. Hold on. <laughs> he's like trying. He's an American ninja warrior. He's going for the sixth attempt no, on the wall. Just, mama just, say, mama <laughs> sa, mama kusa. Greg Cody screws up the name Yeltsin Encarnacion. Stepping to the plate, number 13, Yeltsin Encarnacion. <laughs> Billy Gill talks for eight seconds and says nothing. Well, Charlie sent, uh, Charlie had this, Charlie, as far as I know, so just Charlie's title in my Are you going to say anything? Well, Dan bleeps the wrong word. Lillard showed a social media clip of him telling Westbrook, stop running from this ass bleeping, ass whooping, excuse me. I'm afraid of all the curse words no, no, in here. I'm glad he bleeped out whooping now. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Stugat screws up the name Bo. Let's go to, uh, I can't read this person's name. 80. His Bo. His name is Bo. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I think Billy typed uh, an 8 instead of a B. Fine. It's the clearest name, Bo. All right. Good wow. Yeah. What's up? Wow. What's up? What's up? Number 80. Wow. <laughs> Number 80. Wow, go ahead. <laughs> it's Chris Corner on the line. CC. Go ahead. Dan's odd strategy for deterring burglars. Blink, people. If you don't want to do the work of standing sentry outside your home and beating off. Chasing off burglars. Uh, tell them about Blink, Stugatz, the way that you can use your cameras to make sure that uh, you can... Chasing off burglars. You can so. chase off... You can chase off It's certainly one way to handle burglars. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be the way to keep them from coming back. <laughs> it would, Maybe it wouldn't It wouldn't get them out of your yard. It might get them to keep returning. All of a sudden, you got a bunch of burglars in your front yard. <laughs> Stugat shows up at the wrong <laughs> studio in New York. Oh, no. In the calendar and in conversations that I've had with Stugatz, you're at ESPN Radio New York on Wednesday and then at Seaport Thursday and Friday. Oh, he forgot, I bet. He's at Seaport right yeah, now because he showed up to Seaport on Monday and Tuesday, and he's like, but I think I'm here all week. Uh, so they set up the Seaport studio, even though we were told it wasn't even available. So I FaceTimed with him, and he's in front of a green screen, and it's not the green screen that I have a live feed for and in trying to patch through seaport it has screwed up our simulcast he has for the first time sabotaged our ability to air this on espn news this hasn't happened before and also bob lee is retired because of it the company <laughs> continues to reward it he continues to ask for more like for example a deal no one's got at the company which is work vacations do you see why we don't let you do this do you now? Do you, do you now see? <laughs> I don't understand. What went wrong? We're, we're, Anything? This is a perfect start to the show. <laughs> Julian, Julian Edelman's going to be sitting about five feet away from me in a few minutes. We're going to get him on the show over that. I'm, I'm proud of you guys for not trying to blame somebody yeah, else for is, him showing it, okay. up at the wrong studio. All right, so, uh, so he's... I will say this: these calendars are very confusing. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah, there it you is. put a right block there. in the calendar. Separate the days. I mean, someone do something about that. I mean, <laughs> it looks did. like three straight days here. He's just firing. How about that's in every direction? He's like. He's just, he's just, he's a, when he 
gets his most defensive. He just uh, starts swinging one of his chief weapons in every direction. <laughs> How about that it's for everybody? Not to mention the fact that you're supposed to be at ESPN Radio in New York and not Seaport today. That being in the calendar, you don't remember the conversation we had about how you you were supposed to be at ESPN Radio today? No. <laughs> <laughs> Ka-ching. Time for some ads. Hey, Blink has to win that. I don't know, man. Billy was great. I think J-Lo, Fly Girl, you not being able to differentiate between letters and numbers. 80. 80 you're on the air. <laughs> you can mistake a B for an A, can't you? Uh, I don't know. At Lebitard Show if you, you want to vote. You would be named 80. I don't know. 80. 80 you're on ESPN Radio.